You know how Peppa do. She gonna come with a different wig on and make more parts. Serious, because I'm over this. But basically, I'm fast forwarding all the way till now. <laughs> okay, it's 2024. We are in the month of September. I have begged and pleaded with this man. I just want to co-parent correctly. I want to be respected as the mother of my kids. I don't want to be threatened. Um, his girlfriend's family is very heavily in the picture and they have zero respect for me. His girlfriend actually stated that her family is more family than my family. That's how disrespectful this person is. And he allows it. In my, in my mind, I feel like once you have kids with somebody, you shouldn't let anybody come in between your co-parenting situation because that was first and that deserves respect. You know what I mean? But in my situation, no. Oh my God, I'm so sick of holding that damn phone. Anyway, there's just no respect and it's just, it's, it's crazy. And um, I begged and I pleaded with my kid's father multiple times as the mother of his kids to just take that off of me. I have two other children and I don't think that it's fair to our kids to put me in jail for up to six months because of child support that I'm not able to pay, but you know that I can't pay because I'm not working and you know why I'm not working because I just had a baby and you know I'm not making money off social media anymore because you played a part in that. So with that being said, why he won't take the child support off my back? Because I do for my kids. I'm here for my kids. I'll never, I don't want to leave my kids. They deserve to have a mother just like they deserve to have a father. I don't care about all this step parent shit. I'm not downing step parents. I had a stepfather and he was a great man. But the thing that. So does she think doing this, she's going to go viral and it's going to force Gerard to take her off of child support? Did y'all hear that? She skipped everything and went straight to she wants to be taken off of child support. So she want the people to harass Gerard to tell him to take her off? Child, mm -mm -mm. y'all see this? That he never did was step on my father's toes, no matter how involved or not involved my father was. And that's a real man. And when you have kids, when, when you get with somebody with kids, you respect their situation. And that's just that on that. A real woman, a real man respects that situation and they don't they don't come in between that situation, but that is not the case in my case. Okay. In a sense, I feel like they're trying to replace me in a weird, creepy sense. Like I'm here in Texas. That is not the case in my situation. Girl, that is not the case in my case. Okay. Texas. I'm not involved in school stuff. I can't, I wanted to switch their schools. I wanted to pick a school in the middle of us so he can have them part-time and I can have them part-time. There's no reason for all this extra shit. And I've literally begged this man for this. Let's just do this. Like, there's no reason why we can't. My kids want to be with me so bad, so bad. So what's the point of us not being able to co-parent to the point where you have the kids 50-50 of the time that I do? I take them to school, you take them to school. But listen, this is not about the kids. And I had to realize that this is about keeping me under his control. Him having the right to put me in jail when he wants. That's the only reason I think he won't take me off of child support. Because I'm just like, I'm telling you I can't pay you. I, I, I can't. I don't have that money. And then I just don't have it. I don't have it right now. So if I'm telling you that... But I'll still, but you can just give me the kids 50% of the time. What's the problem with that? That, excuse me, guys. That takes the burden off of you. That It's because you don't want to pay child support. It's not that you can't pay child support. You have a monetized YouTube channel. You're lying about the channel not being demonetized. You make money off of TikTok. You're lying about all of this because you don't want to pay child support because you feel like you don't want to give him money. So now your angle with it is, give me my kids. I'll take care of my kids. I'll take care of my kids. Just take me off of child support. That's what you keep saying. And then y'all, she's actually telling the children that he's trying to put her in jail. Why is she out here trying to act like she care about her kids and it's about the kids? She be telling her kids a whole bunch of crazy stuff about him.
takes the stress off of you and it puts it on me. So any of that extra money you're having to spend, you wouldn't have to because I would have them 50% of the time. But he says no. He doesn't want to get along. He doesn't want to co-parent correctly. He doesn't want to be fair. He doesn't want any of that. He wants things to stay the way that they are, where he controls everything that happens with them. And that's just not okay. It's not okay with me, especially when I have my 11-year-old daughter saying that she wants to take her own life because she, because this situation is so hard on her and all she wants to do is be with her mommy. My son is out of control. She really on here trying to get the internet to attack Gerard. That is fucking ludicrous. Did y'all just hear that? Honey, honey. Mm -mm -mm. My kids deserve better. That is fucking crazy. Better. And they're just not receiving that in this situation. And it's heartbreaking. And it's been breaking my heart. And all I want them to do is have a normal life. Their mother was taken from them when they were babies. And this is not fair. So I say all of that. And of course, I'm leaving a lot out. You know, there's so much that have has gone on. But like I said, I'm not doing this to bash. Did y'all hear everything she included? Sure. She said, I'm skipping ahead to now. So now I asked him to take me off child support and he won't take me off child support. He just won't do it. And there's no reason for him to be doing this. And my 11 year old, she wants to unalive herself and there's no reason. And my, my son is out of control. What, bitch, what? And she's putting all this on freaking TikTok like they gonna attack Gerard. Honey, TikTok is nowhere to play. They are going to find every last receipt possible and bury Olivia with it. Why would she do this? Does she really want the system involved in her and Gerard's relationship more? Like, Why would she even say anything like that on social media, knowing how social media is? So she want caseworkers and stuff to be at Gerard's house messing with her kids is what she wants. This shit is wicked as hell. I told y'all the shit she says is so dangerous and there's no limit to it. She'll just go on and on and on and say worse and worse and worse things. That's fucking crazy. And even her children aren't off limits to her. Anybody. I'm doing this to show the mistreatment, the unjust system that we have in place right now. And I want other women to learn from my situation. Okay. Even if you, I already know there's a lot of women who are smarter than me who would never have represented themselves. Okay, good. I'm happy for you guys. I'm happy that you guys are smarter than me, but there is another Olivia out there who just wants to get along, who doesn't want to have to go through the situation, who just wants it to end, who wants to heal, who wants to move on, who wants to raise her children. It's, it's peace, crazy. But she's not going to be able to because that man is going to come after her and she doesn't know what to do. I want these videos to benefit that type of woman. I want to tell you out there, don't ever let your guard down when it comes to the father of your kids. Ever, ladies. Ever. You don't understand. This man literally used to tell me he would never take my kids away from me. I'm a great mother. He would never do this something like this. Crazy. Yeah. He is so gone. He has done this to me. And he he doesn't care. He doesn't care. I'm the one that listens to the kids cry about this. I'm the one that has to deal with their feelings and emotions about the situation because he does not care. And it breaks my heart to even say that. But that is the truth. It's just the truth. Lord, y'all. Never let your guard down. Ooh. Always protect yourself. And most importantly, always protect your children. Because while people, haters, people who don't dislike me so much, that they think that this is a great situation. The kids are happy. My kids are not happy. My son, Christian. 
is so lost. My daughter, my oldest daughter, she's so strong. She's my, she's my rock. She's so strong. But she, it's so hard on her. It's so hard on her. It's so hard on her. And it's just so hard on her. I'm trying not to say too much. A bitch, you said so way too much already. She so tells fuck? me that nobody loves her. My baby just goes through. She's so fucking dumb. Like, there's one... I, and people may not understand, but there's a difference from Olivia saying this shit over on YouTube and her saying this shit on TikTok. There is a huge difference. TikTok operates completely different than YouTube does. This shit, y'all, I really... Gosh, Miss True Redbone came in the chat and she said she sent the link to Nisi because, well, I'm pretty sure Gerard was alerted yesterday, but he needs to be on alert. They they need to be on alert because Olivia has seriously just did some shit, some shit that she did not have to do. She's saying she trying not to say too much. You have said entirely too much about your daughter. And for you to sit on this platform and try to act like you trying to protect her, I could never tell. You have opened up a can of worms that no mother should ever open up. And you just did it because you hate Gerard? Y'all, this is, this is not good. so much and she needs her mom I have two daughters and a son with this man my daughters need me my son needs me mm -mm -mm. my baby girl Ryan she's six and she never got to just y'all don't even understand how the reports are getting ready to flood in this is about to piss Gerard and Nisha off to the max because what's going to happen is they're going to start going to Robin's school and talking to Robin at school. What the hell is the point that, like, I don't understand really what Olivia is really trying to do with this. You really want fucking caseworkers and shit going to your daughter's school? Harassing her because some shit that you just said on TikTok? Mm. And then she's going to be like, oh, I'm so sure. It's not that serious. Oh, I, I, I'm so sure. Oh, I'm, I'm sure you reactors did it. It's not that serious. I'm so sure. Bitch, why? Why didn't you just leave your kids out of this altogether? You could have just kept referring to them as the kids and not said anything like that. be a baby she never got to have that toddlerhood it was just taken away from her due to the selfishness of adults don't let anybody do this to your kids like i have allowed this to be done to my kids because that's what i did as a mother i failed them in that sense i let this bitter man take them and play them as pawns in order to hurt me, in order to ruin my life, in order to have his get back. Years later, after we've been divorced and we're over and done, he's still playing these games. And I don't care how many people want to say, oh, you too. No. At one point, I was hurt. Years ago, I was hurt. Years ago, I was bitter. I have done so much work on myself, and I don't feel anything towards this man. I don't feel hate. I don't feel anything. I just want everything to be fair with the kids. I want the kids to be able to have both of their parents. And I want to be respected as their mother. And this is the same thing I've said from... When the hell did this happen? Because in August, she was calling him Titty Boy. Were we in September? So August, she was referring to him as Titty Boy. And she refers to his wife as the maid. And she refers to his wife's family as those people. So when did she work on herself and get all this clarity? Huh, okay.
from day one. This is all I've said from day one. But ladies, protect yourselves from day one. Never let another woman around your kids. When you and your the father of your kids break up, never let another woman around your kids because she'll get in that she'll get the idea in, the, in your, her mind that you're weak. But listen, a real woman would never even play with you like that. A woman, another mother, most of the time would never play with you like that. I just happen to be in the worst of the worst type of situations. But I love you guys. Okay. Keep your heads up. I'm trying to keep my head up. They're currently, I guess, trying to put a warrant out for my arrest. I don't want to lose. I don't want to leave my kids for six months over this. And I've begged and I've pleaded. And he's made fun of me on social media because I've begged and I pleaded with him. This is a fucking mess. This hoe is over there looking for sympathy, playing a whole damn game and trying to get the internet enraged. She really want to play on Beyonce's internet like this. I hope they tear her a fucking whole new one. I really do. Mm-mm, y'all. I'm ready for TikTok to get a hold of Olivia. So I don't know what else to do other than continue to pay my little amounts that I can pay and just stay strong for my children. But I love you guys, and thank you for listening to my story. And please take what I'm saying and learn from my experiences. I love you guys so much. Ciao, y'all.